All right, what's up everybody? It's John Neighbors from Inside Arkansas, and I'm walking to Bud Walton Arena on a beautiful fall day, looking around it, looking like this too. It's about five o'clock-ish, close to it. I, probably, I think I parked correctly, but I'm probably gonna get towed anyways. Doesn't matter, but uh, this was Camp Bud, and now it has been cleared out because I assume the students are waiting in line. So let's go ahead and talk to some of them and see their realistic and totally sane expectations for what they have for the Razorback basketball this season in the first year under John Calipari. Unbelievably excited. Been here for going on 40 hours. And um, uh, these Kansas Jayhawk Tua's, not spitting on that thing, man. Just saying, just saying. Uh, I also think Kansas fucking sucks. Um, shit, I hope we get rowdy, but uh, I don't know. I think everyone's been talking. We're definitely storming the court, you know, if we pull off this win. So we're, we're, all, we're all getting ready. There's been talks. You know, we telephone lined it all the way down. So we're, you older fans, I know y'all love it when we storm the court, so y'all get ready. I would like to make note that this will be the first game ever in the history of college basketball that will be stormed that was considered an exhibition game. So uh, making history tonight, folks, yes, the University are. of Arkansas Razorbacks, not yes. only for Cal, but for also uh, storming the court. Cal's got us locked in, this foundation. No more rushing the courts. Cal came straight to the chips, team. straight chips, on crip. Can't say that. Um, well, if I were to imitate the Texas crowd, and if there's a really bad call I don't like, I'm going to throw everything I can possibly to get the call overturned. Hmm. That is how it works. John Calipari is the most personable coach in the country, and very well maybe ever. Um, Eric Musselman does nothing but put on a face. Never liked him, never will. He'll put that big old smile on, stop talking to you, and go, whoop. Danielle's pretty though. Danielle looks good. That's that's about the only positive. I, that's the only thing I'm gonna miss anyway. Super excited for this season. See, I had to rock the 1994 national championship team jersey today. I actually uh, spoke to one of the dudes that started on that team today, and I. Uh, please and en please enlighten me on who that was. <laughs> Pete. <laughs> Pete, what was his name? Bro, you look up. I can look it up on my phone right now. Okay. We're probably not gonna get Roger Crawford is his name. So you're a big slobber hog fan? Yeah. I love the slobber hog. Yes. Thanks for right. coming in. Oh here. yeah! Oh. How many do you have in here? Uh, you want one? No, I think I'm okay <laughs> at the time being. Oh, that's so kind of you to stick it in my face like that. You hydrating? Is that is good water in there? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's from uh, the Water Boy. It's I think it's straight from the Icelandic mountains, and it it's super good water. You know, if I wanted to go to some BS community that nobody really wants to be a part of and feel like a degenerate all day. I may go up to Lexington, I may go down to Gainesville, I may, um, hell, I may go up to Kansas. Who knows? But um, I love it here. I love to be where, I love to be where the winds come, where the winds flow. Up here in the Ozarks, baby. Come check us out. We're pretty. We're better. I didn't have a third, I didn't have a third word for that. Third one's not That's really fine, needed. What, what's the craziest thing you've seen out while you've been camping out, while you've been in this line? Anything of note? Ooh. Any Anybody pissed you off? Any fights break out? No, anything like that? There's a little, there's some arguments. Uh, there's some kids blasting music, going around all the different tents, handing out a fireball from a fireball keg. And there's security and stuff out there, so that got shot down pretty quick, but pretty entertaining to watch unfold. Yeah, because as we, all, as we all know, though, because... Obviously, if you're under the age of 21, you should not be drinking or consuming any alcohol not here on job. the University of Arkansas campus. No, not a drop. Alcohol and tobacco-free campus. I mean, the university does so much for us students that we, we have to live by those rules. So I love, I love this place. I mean, they love us. So. Say, with the amount of money they could have, they could spit on you guys if they wanted to at this yeah, point. Yeah, man, I mean, finally they, they gave us some Eureka pizza, but, I mean, they've been feeding us graham crackers. and. And we're eating good out here. I'm telling you what. Graham crackers and Eureka pizza. Yeah. I watch your show all the time. It's pretty awesome. That's the one. Yeah. All right, so give me your first and last name. Caden Palladini. Where are you from? Italy. <laughs> I feel like the season's going to go this year for Coach Cal in year one. See, Coach Cal recently loved the guy, but you can't win in the playoffs. So I think we'll have a good regular season, and then come around March Madness, we might slip up. But... Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I hate this kid. <laughs> I, I definitely agree that the playoff issue is certainly serious with Coach Cal, but I think he needed a change of scenery, and I think that's going to help a lot, and we'll probably win the Natty this yep, year. Love that. Who was your favorite Razorback growing up? Any sport, anything? I'm a big girls soccer team fan. Uh, our soccer team's really good. If you didn't know, we're, we're ranked. Uh, Bella Field, probably my favorite player of all time. She's an amazing girl. Uh, she does crazy things on the field, and uh, that's all I have to say. Footwork is insane on Bella. Yeah. Absolutely love her action. 
wonderful looking athlete, absolutely yeah. pristine. We love you, Bella. We love you. But do you have a message to all the uh, Big Blue Nation Kentucky fans out there that are still a little butthurt about Cal leaving them for a superior program? Glad to have them. Uh, what the fuck's a Wildcat? Oh, get over it. It's like he, he left. Then Wildcats, though, we can talk about them real quick. Oh, uh, we stole your coach. <laughs> Fuck you. I just need to grow up and uh, worry about uh, Lamont Butler and whatever other Juco kids they picked up. So, I think y'all seasons are over. Y'all are cooked. No more NBA players are coming out of that program. Um, yeah, we're the new school. Arkansas's NBA U, the new NBA U, we're the, we're right here school. in Fayetteville, laying it down. Laying it down. Be here. Be here. Guys, he's ours now. Get a life. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Hey, for at least the next 10 years, y'all will not have jack shit going on for you in your basketball program. So, like, sucks to suck, but on the other side over here, we're doing just fine. So, just fine. fuck the Wildcats. All right, folks, as you can see, the student section is really feeling themselves. And it's a, a great time to be out here as a Razorback fan. All these kids think that they're excited about an exhibition game against Kansas. Well, at least they're actually playing a good team, unlike other teams that play D2 teams and get all excited about it. But... They're fired up and apparently well fed and well inebriated. Should be a great atmosphere though, no matter what. But either way, we appreciate everybody watching in and listening in. Be sure to subscribe to Inside Arkansas. We also appreciate Roback for being a part of each and every one of our things that we do here at Inside Arkansas. You can go to their website at roback.com and use promo code HOGSBY20 and it'll get you 20% off your very first purchase. Some of the great clothing, you'll be able to check it out. So be sure to do that. Again, roback.com, use promo code HOGSBY20 for 20% off. And we'll catch you on Inside Arkansas Live on Monday. Hogs by 90.